Hi, this is Lee. I'm at South Mountain Park in Phoenix, Arizona. I have my Nikon D300S with an 18 to 200 lens on it. I have a polarizer because we're having one of our, what, three overcast days that we have during the year. Um, I love taking pictures when I'm out hiking because it combines most of my passions. I love being outside. I love fitness. I love taking pictures. So it's a great day. Why don't you follow me along on my hike? So I brought my 18 to 200 lens today because it's probably my most versatile lens. I can do panorama shots or I can do something zoomed in if I see something interesting like a rattlesnake or a bunny rabbit or something. Uh, like right now, I'm going to turn around and shoot a panorama shot, um, but then I'm going to zoom in on downtown. And it's simple with my with this lens. The key to landscape photography is getting everything at focus. So I'm going to set my camera to aperture mode and I'm going to use uh, an aperture of f8. Uh, that will ensure that I get most of the things in focus when I'm shooting at, at these types of distances where, where I want me in focus but I also want all of the background in focus. Um, f8 or going on up your higher f numbers or higher f stop numbers uh, means you'll have more things in focus. The lower numbers um, means you will have fewer things in focus. So using the higher f stop, um, I'm ensuring that I have a greater depth of field so that most of my um, well, all of my foreground, all of the smaller rocks and the, um, the smaller hills in front are in focus, but as well as all of the buildings and houses and, and even the mountains in the background, they're all in focus. I've installed my circular polarizer. Uh, a polarizer does the same thing that uh, polarized sunglasses do. So it creates um, greater contrast. You can see a little bit more detail. Uh, this type of polarizer rotates so that I can actually create different effects with it. So this is some mountains off in the distance with the polarizer and without the polarizer. I'm probably not going to get any real stunning pictures today. Um, you can see the kind of the haze in the background. I'll probably put the pictures through Photoshop later, try and boost the colors, kind of up the contrast a little bit, um, and see what we can get. I'm at the end of my hike. Today we have talked about a few things. First of all, we talked about my lens. I have an 18 to 200 VR lens on my camera right now. The reason I care, I use that lens when I'm hiking is I typically don't like to lug around uh, a tripod, even though a lot of nature photographers do. Um, when I'm in full daylight, I just don't want to lug it around. The 18 to 200 allows me to um, shoot broad landscapes, but also allows me to zoom in on things. While the VR aspect allows me to hold the camera in my hand, but remain some. Uh, or keep some stability. We also talked about using aperture mode on the camera. Remember I had my camera in f8. Um, that allowed me to shoot um, a landscape picture but have pretty much everything that I was shooting in focus. Uh, lastly we talked about my polarizer which gives me a little bit more punch to my pictures. It, it gives them a little bit of a, a crispness that you wouldn't normally get. If you have any questions about what I talked about today please let me know.